Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be looking at design pattern called intercept. We will try to have high level understanding what this design pattern is and how can you implement this particular design pattern in your application. We will also try to do a little workshop where we will try to implement this design pattern. But first of all, let's just try to have high level understanding what this design pattern is and how can you implement this particular design, uh, design pattern in your application. Let's assume for a second that you have um, some application uh, which is consuming some, some sort of data from external source. As data is coming to your application, it's just going through some workflow, right? Some steps, it's, um, you know, just say for example, you have a step where you're, you're, you're consuming data and then you're writing into your database store, then you're running a few more um, kind of, you know, steps on it, and then you're writing into some like, you know, RabbitMQ, for example, some, some sort of event or maybe, maybe other data source, okay? Let's say your business or your product team is saying, I would like to um, kind of implement a use case where I like to inspect the data which is going through this particular workflow. Okay, um, there are several ways in which you can you can do this. Okay, you can write a piece of code, um, you know, uh, inside or in between your workflow as data is coming you you check um, you know whatever your business is asking or your your product team is asking you implement that use case. Just for a second, just just assume that you know you have a workflow, um, and that workflow is written by some external team or some some you know third party vendor. You're gonna have a difficulty kind of you know putting your your logic your code into it. This is where like you know the the intercept design pattern comes, where you can inspect the data just just standing outside you know without kind of you know modifying the ex existing workflow without kind of changing anything you just write a piece of you know logic or code where you can inspect the the data and you take some actions you know whatever appropriate actions are for example you know you can check the data and then you can put it into some some log or some you know some some other place where it can be monitored later or if data contains some sort of like you know sensitive information or information which is barred then you can actually stop the the workflow of of that data i.e you can stop that particular route in camel terms let's say we have a route where we are consuming some data from jms you know we have a db handler which is writing to dbms then we are just writing into rabbit mq by implementing this design pattern you can either like you know log the message or you can completely stop the the, the completely stop the route that particular uh, route not not the entire like you know that next time a uh, data can't come for that particular request you can you can stop it okay so in apache camel the intercept feature in uh, in apache camel basically supports intercepting exchanges while they are being routed all right there are three types of interceptors one is called intercept that basically intercepts every processing step as they happen during routing what it means is like let's say you have five um, you know endpoints in in your route okay they are going from like say a to b b to c c to d d to e as your data goes from like you know, one endpoint to another endpoint you can you can you can kind of you know monitor you can you can see what's going on and you can log it okay you have like you no know, a little more control like you no know, you just want to kind of intercept when data is coming from a particular endpoint or particular source okay let's say i just want to monitor you know jms or or the external part okay um, i don't want to kind of touch my my internal bits you can do that as well third thing you can do is you can say like okay when you know i'm i'm ready to write to some particular endpoint i would like to intercept at that particular time Okay, so you have intercept sent to endpoint that basically intercepts only when exchange is about to be sent to the given endpoint. What it means is, let's say you have, you know, simple route going from A to B, B to C. As data goes from like you know, A to B, as soon as like you no know, data has reached B, B is trying to send to C, you would like to put your interceptor over there. So you can use this, this third type of uh, interceptor, you know, to, to build that particular design pattern. Uh, okay, enough of talking. Now let's just try to implement uh, this particular design pattern really quickly in uh, Apache Camel root. So let me just take you to code first. Okay, so here is our IntelliJ. All right, let's just try to increase the font a little bit. 
might be a little too small for you so what I have got over here is I have an endpoint okay I have a root sorry which is saying like you know start root it has a few few mocked steps like some some made up steps basically it has a step one okay and then it has like you now it's doing something then it, it's going to step two then it's going to step three step four blah 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 it just continues like that okay what we can do is if i send the request sorry if i just run this particular test uh, at this minute what will happen is you will see like you know we are going from step one to step two to step three and then the test is finishing successfully as you can see you know um, I did step one it was probably printing the whole thing then step two just did a tiny bit step three did another tiny bit five etc etc now what I want to do is as the root is is being played okay I would like to intercept okay that that's what we want to do so let's just write saying intercept and what I want to do with the intercept arms because this is just beginning we, we simply saying you know every time root um, jumps from one endpoint to another endpoint i would like to log it okay i would like to log it and i would like to log it something like this yeah so it will say message these these two greater than sign and then the body will be printed for us okay so if i run the program now what you will see up, up alongside what we were printing earlier we should have this you, you know the new new log as well okay so if i zoom in a little bit so it's much more clear all right so what we were printing earlier was like you no know, um yeah so as soon as you know the 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 request came to this particular um endpoint you know the the request came over here it went to two mock step one we intercepted it okay we intercepted the entire exchange so it's simply saying this was the you know in only exchange and this was the body good and then it carried on doing what it was doing earlier okay you will you will be seeing like mock step one mock step two etc etc perfect so this is a very simple example where kind of you know i am intercepting every single thing which is going on in in, in my route now let's try to do some little kind of advanced use case second thing you can do is you can you can intercept only when you see some sort of kind of you know um, sensitive data or or some sort of you know uh, content which you would then you want your your route to stop so in that case what i can do is i'm saying intercept when body contains let's put secret and then what we want to do is in that case i'm saying then you stop the route I don't want my root to root to continue at this point because it contains some secret information and I don't want this root to, to continue from from this point onward all right so if I run my my application you will see the test will pass because you know all the conditions are are uh, passing but we, what we will try to do then we'll try to send some secret information okay at this point nothing got printed no no interruption in our route now this is our test okay this is this is what we are basically uh, sending so what i'm going to do at this point is i'm going to send secret data okay now let's just try to run our application what will happen because right now my test is expecting you know all the steps to be finished but now we are we are interrupting execution of our program because it contains secret information as you can see my test is failing now okay why my test is failing because as soon as as soon as we reached over here we consumed the data we did the interception and we found that payload contains some secret information and and i want to stop it at this point good let's just try to do one more um, example and we were like you know talking about when something is sent to endpoint so i'm saying when data is sent to probably let's say step three so we are saying when data is sent to this particular endpoint at that point i would like to do some sort of logging yeah and then i'm gonna stop this for for for, for a second sorry comment it just to prove that okay 
now what we are doing is we are saying just log again let's bring message with three carrots this time so what you will notice earlier like you know for each step we were printing but this time we will only print um, for step three re-execute our test test gonna um, pass successfully but this message with three carrots will only be printed once all right so if if we just try to have a look at the the log as you can see yeah when we reach to the the step three uh, or when root reach to the step number three then it intercepted and then it has printed the the information for us all right good stuff now let's just do the last bit then i'm saying when data is kind of sent to step three and it contains secret same thing you just just interrupt and fail let's see if this works as well or not Okay, started root, step one, mock step two. Intercept send to end point. What did I do wrong? Uh, let's just see what, what did we do wrong. Mock step four. So intercept send to end point. What we need to do is I forgot to put something. It's called skip send to original endpoint. Okay. Um, let's just do that. Skip send to original endpoint. So we are saying if Okay, as you can see now, when it reached step number three, we we skipped. We we are saying probably do do stop at this point. Like you know, now, skip sending to the, the the next step. You can put log as well. You'll be able to print log and then you'll print print the log. Okay, so I hope uh, you enjoyed this particular uh, video. You learned this this design pattern. Um, please like and subscribe uh, if you have not um, and leave leave me a comment okay so so i can i i know like know what you are kind of you know looking what you're liking or not liking um i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye for now